Hello everybody, this is Shadow Lizzie here bringing you a brand new episode of Running Red. I believe this is episode 4, and it hasn't been too long since the last episode. As you guys see over there, that little stick, I have extended it. I'm about halfway towards this little circular thing I want to get to. Oh, so I've expanded the uh, this thing a bit, and I got enough materials to start up on the next quest. So, let's get going. They changed a decent amount of the recipes, so it's a little weird, but... Got the Fluidux. What do they want next? His heart. The por I had a feeling they wanted me to make one of those. I believe the recipe is actually just... Wrong recipe. Oh, yeah, yeah. I need... These... Yep. Now they'll me just scoot in my chair. Okay, perfect. Anything else? Nope. So I get all those. I get a red heart canister, which will increase our total hearts by one. Half a heart, which will increase our lives, if I combine with the other one I have. And some ore berry, bush eh. ore berry bushes. So first off, do this. And wait for it. Watch the he my health. As you can see, we got another heart. Which is actually, this is something I've wanted. Because with this, I can store as well as, as import or export the blood. So if I do this, I'll leave the... Actually, please tell me I could break that with a pickup. Let's, let's check if there's a wrench. W-R-E-N. Let's see, I can either make a wrench, which that requires bronze, so that won't work. An iron one, or let's see. No, not an omni wrench. A there it is, crescent hammer. One tin. So I am just gonna get the. Uh, it's aluminium. Wait, does aluminium become? Or do I have like a tin bush over here that I forgot about? Because my memory is just lapsing on me, I apologize. Just trying to get through my uh, forest I made. <laughs> oh yeah, I just put down the tins last. So let's see, has any of them grown? Yes, we got tin. So that means we can definitely speed up this. I'm going to make a, another row, like a separate one on the other side maybe. Okay, let's grab one of you, put you here. Now, as soon as this is done cooking, I put this here. Even though I don't think I need to cook the uh, aluminium, might as well. Now I got two aluminium. Put you here. And we'll be able to soon do the, the stuff, which will be useful because I have these life essence buckets. So let's see if I do this. Now I have a bunch of life essence. Thank you, plugins for forestry, for this one. Okay. I'll first check what the next quest is before I use this stuff. Blood farms. Oh, you can hear your stomach growling. Maybe you don't feel so good. She gets some food. Springs of life. It'll give me a few buckets of life, a water bucket, a, oh, a QDS, some gold ore berry, and I can choose one of these. Let's see. This way is... Oops. One, two, eight, one. Maybe it's a specific direction. I'm... Let's see, it's minus, let's see, let's go to 165, so it has to be a negative number, meaning this is the way to go. Wait, wait, no, it's a lower negative number, so it's over there. I'll make the wrench first. So let's see, press that, put 10 here, put 
the iron here and got a crescent rat ra eh. got my crescent which will be helpful in a bit in addition let's combine these two half a hearts together got a full heart back up to five now then let's go actually how do I make these again book and string which worst case scenario I would cheat another one of these in if I somehow can't you know And now we walk carefully through here. My theory is that the place we're going is the... Yeah, I think it's that, that third island we I saw. So right now I'm going to see if I can get enough wood. Uh, I believe I'll need about a stack of it. But first, I want to go to bed just for the sake of frickin' getting rid of the night time. Good morning, world, and all who inhabit it, which is mainly me and some random cows that are suicidal. Okay, that just sounds more depressing than I thought, and I got candles to sing depress me. Now then, let's go up. Let's quickly grab a sapling. Oops. That would have been bad. Put that there. Put the rest of them here. Now do this and this. It's a relatively re repetitive process, I know, but part of this, of any form of sky survival, is just repetition. At least I'm not do on a cobble gen right now. Those things are just so annoying. Although I would, I won't lie, I probably will make one of those eventually because. They are really useful, because having a cobble generator is just one of the most useful things in Minecraft. Also, I'm wondering if this thing works the same as water. Like, if I were to have a stream of this and a stream of lava, would it turn it into cobblestone, or would it do something really weird? Now let me get a drink of water. Uh, unfortunately, as you guys can tell, until I make an iron pickaxe, I can't even move these even if I wanted to. But I like their position because it makes it easy to do stuff. Mainly this. Okay, we almost got enough. Enough for, I think... Yeah. Let's make a bunch of slabs. I'm going to bring my mattock. I'm going to bring the sword and six torches will do for now. Oh, and let's just put you away. Let's see what my FPS is like. I just got to see. Wait, consistent 60? Something's wrong. V-Sync is on. That's why I felt so weird. That's better. 120. Even though you guys will probably only see 60, I like to have really good FPS. Since I don't really get screen tearing when I play Minecraft, it's more in different games. Also, sorry if you hear me like sniffing a little. I just have allergies because of the weather. So, also in addition to this... Whoa. If I had a freaking... Let's see, our... Yes, there are safari nets. I want one of these eventually, because that'll make it so I can capture these guys. I wish I could have gotten those wolves I saw a while back on this island, but they all committed suicide. And I forgot food. Basically, I'm just going to keep going forward and then just make a left turn or a right turn, depending on how you look at it. So, let's go back. Also, let me check the book 75 away so that is the only logical place I could be going I believe those things do have like one bl source block of water so makes sense sorry occasionally I just that's a muting the mic when makes and because of stuff now then ooh and an, a very high supply of dirt very helpful. Yep, 
That is a witchery thing over there. Please tell me that's one a coven witch and not a vanilla witch. Maybe because coven witches are at least neutral. Vanilla witches, if you guys haven't played vanilla Minecraft, please do so, are hostile, are basically a hostile mob, which is unfortunate. Because it'd be cool to trade with them and get potions and whatnot. Okay, now we go back. If memory serves, there's a witch spawner in there, so I gotta be careful. Whoa, bug. 16, 18, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. We made it. Is that a coven witch? Thank God it is. Water. Ooh. Oh good, melon seeds. Those will actually be a pretty useful. Odd. You hear summer growling. Maybe you don't feel hungry. Maybe you should get some food. So I need one bone meal and one wooden hoe on me. I could do that back at the home, but I while I'm here, let's just take some of this dirt. That coven witch, I hope, doesn't kill herself. I'm not sure whether I should get rid of that or not. And let me just turn off F7. Good. With all this, I should... I should have brought a thing to harvest the water. I think these spawners might be a good thing, but just in case, I'll put a torch on them. To reduce their spawn rate. Because I don't... Raven Scare. Besides the fact your name sounds... Well, she might be dead. Wait. Let me check something. Can I turn bread into anything? I was hoping I'd somehow get, like, flour out of it. But at least I got more, uh, golden apples. And some steel. So right now, let's go make a little bit of a food area uh, back on the main hub. Uh, but I'm going to just... Well, you guys get the idea. Excuse me, cow. Excuse me, cow. Excuse me, other cow. So at least we got something good to deal with. Now we have a supply of food that isn't just, you know... I'm not sure if this was in, if these melodies were intended or was it random, but I don't care. We need some food, so I'm gonna put the food I think there. There, so I'll make it between episodes, most likely the actual food thing. And God dang it, I need more wood. Let's just chop down this tree really quick. My goal at the moment is just to at least get one of these quests done per episode, so that way at least I am advancing, you know? So come on, give me stuff. I like stuff. I'm just gonna put these saplings here. I should make a chest for light with an emergency silkworm and sapling, but I'm lazy. And stupid. So right now, I just need... Oop. Opa. Okay, now we just need these two at the moment. I'll get the rest taken care of later. Tabula rasa. Oh. I am ignorant. I got it backwards on what I needed. Good. One of these, and one of these. Speaking of blood. Uh. I 
I guess I'll have to use that bone I got earlier. It's, yeah, I got a bone. Good. Now we get three buckets of life, a bucket of water, a QDS, and an ore berry bush. And I want the reward bag, because those things can get some good stuff. And I'm glad I have actual iron buckets. Those things just make me feel more secure than the other kind. I'll put the QDS, uh... How do you make these anyway? I'm not putting down the QDS just in case. I feel like I'll screw it up. But first, basic reward bag. Give me some apples. I can take. I'll take all the apples I can get. Last one, running red. Hmm. Odd device you just received is humming. It seems to hum even louder when you're next to it or went next to blood. It seems to be trying to tell you something. Why don't you give it some blood and see what it has to say? So I get three buckets of life, a tin orberry bush, a book called This Place, and another one of those. So you know what? Let's do it. Let's grab the QDS. Put it here. Let's just... We need... 10,000 life essence. That's 6,000. Let's see, where is the... I'm trying to remember where I put those wood buckets. They don't stack, unfortunately. So right now I'm going to run over here and get a few buckets of that. Oh yeah, I can use that florb. Urban, I'll probably have enough. Luckily, I know how to use these things. One, two, three. Definitely seems to have similar... Sp it seems to share physics with either water or lava. Depending on how you look at it. And this is actually... I think this might be on purpose they did dexter this. It's just white. Because it's called life essence. Use your, just use your imaginations. I'm not going to directly tell you. Definitely came to do a 1.7 mod pack, but I'll get to that later. Okay. Now then, I need one of this. I need to make a lever. Let's see, and where's that? I know we got another fluiduct in here somewhere. I feel like I lo- there it is. Oh yeah, need the QDS book. Okay, so hold on a moment while I just... And... Hold on. Maybe I try... Th I think this is one of those things that's finicky. That's better. Okay, now let me grab that florb. Because I've never actually used one of these things, so I'm nervous. So where to... There we go. Last bucket. Let's put the rest of these away. Shut this off. Oop. And now... We finished. Running red. Three buckets of life. Red heart canister. And a tin ore berry bush. First off. Put you here. We can have ten of these stacked. I'm going to just... Do that. Oh, let me eat before I read. I, don't, I just feel like I'll somehow starve if I don't. Nom nom. With the side of noms. You are dead. This is the pl this place is for the dead. You'll go here after you die and before you move on to what's next. It is here you must us confront the fact that you are dead. It is here where you must give up your life. It is here where you must give up your blood. Well that's a downer. How rude of you, Gideon. Let's see what the name in this. Whoa, 
More quests have been unlocked. The Souls of the Damned. It unlocked, it unlocked more quests and unlocked the... You are not on in this alone. Let me break this awkward silence. Let me say... Let me go. Go on the record. Be the first to say... I'm sorry. Hear me out. And if you take me down or would lay me out... And if the world needs something better... Let's give them one more reason. Now, now. We walk in a single file. We light our rails and punch our time. I am ride escalators colder than a cell. Okay, I think this will advance blood magic a bit. But let's look at... Let's see, is there anything up here here yet? No. Okay. I don't want to think about the book. It's what it says, it can't be true. You can't be dead. Maybe we should focus on something else. Instead, like this growing problem of monsters, it seems like they are connected. They're by some sort of soul network. Perhaps we can we should investigate this. So they want me to kill uh I'm actually not sure which mobs those are. I think that's zombie and skeleton, but let me just see, uh Spawn egg. Yeah, oh wait. Oh yeah, it is skeleton. So, I'm probably going to have to make a mob spawner. Not one of my favorite things to do, to be honest. Since you guys can tell, I've been avoiding mobs this whole thing. The only other option I have is to literally do blood runes. And how do you make those? Oops, bluff runes. Let's see... Blood are... There it is. We need a blood orb, so... Yeah, we're... No matter what, we're gonna have to do this quest. So that means... Off-camera, I'm going to create a mob spawner. I know there's other ways to do... There's... I'll look into some mob spawner designs, and I'll make one. I'll probably make it, like, as an offshoot to this thing. But, guys... In the meantime, I hope you've enjoyed this so far. I have really enjoyed this so far... And I hope you continue to join me in this descent into running red. See you next time. Bye.